Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use widgets and widget areas. I'll explain the difference between widgets and widget areas, show you how to make custom widget areas and add widgets to them, and the different ways you can get both widgets and widget areas into your content. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. To start with, we need to understand what widgets and widget areas are. Widgets are small blocks of code that perform specific functions which are placed in sidebars and other widget-ready areas. You see them most commonly in blog sidebars and in footers. A widget area, on the other hand, is just a container to hold widgets. There are two types of widget areas, predefined widget areas and custom widget areas. Widgets used to have to go in a widget area to be displayed on the site. But as of Avada 6.2, we introduced the widget element, and now they can be also inserted directly into your page content. Here on the Avada University demo, we can see a bunch of individual widgets inside a widget area in the sidebar of this blog post, as well as down the bottom here in the footer. Here the widgets are in the predefined footer widget areas, and in the footer here each column of content is in its own widget area. So any widgets placed in the various footer column widget areas will show up here. If we go to Appearance Widgets from the WordPress dashboard, we land on the main widgets page. On the left hand side we can see all available widgets, predefined and custom widget areas on the right, and above both of these you can create custom widget areas. If we just open a few of the footer widget areas, we can see the widgets we just saw populating the footer on the front end. OK. So let's create a custom widget area. To do this, we click on the Add New Widget Area button here. As you can see above this, the Avada University demo is already using seven custom widget areas to display course and event information. I'm going to give my new custom widget area a name. I'll call it Avada Tabs and click OK. After a few seconds, it appears on the right hand side with the other widget areas. Avada comes with several predefined widget areas, including ones for the default blog sidebar, the footer columns, and the sliding bar, and the others are custom widget areas added to this demo. On the left hand side, we can see all available widgets. Avada includes a range of custom widgets, such as the Avada Tabs widget, Recent Works widget, and the Contact Info widget, to name a few. Plugins as well, such as WooCommerce and the Events Calendar, can also add custom widgets to your available widgets area when they are installed. To add widgets to widget areas, you can click the widget you'd like to add, select the widget area you'd like to add the widget to from the drop-down list, and then click Add Widget. Another way to add widgets is to simply drag them from the available widgets area into the widget area you'd like to add them to. You can also drag and drop widgets inside the widget areas to rearrange their order. To delete widgets, you can just click on the delete link at the bottom of the widget. Alternatively, you can also remove a widget with drag and drop. If you drag and drop a widget back to the available widget area, any content in it is lost. If you'd like to disable a widget while keeping the content, however, drag and drop it into the inactive widgets area underneath the available widgets area. It will no longer be visible on your site but it's there if you want to reuse it later. Widgets also vary wildly in their configuration. Some have no or very little configuration required and just do a simple job, like the Search, Tag Cloud or Categories widgets. With these widgets, all you need to do is add them to a widget area and make any small customizations. Widgets save automatically when they are first added to a widget area and when you rearrange them, but if you make any changes to individual widgets, be sure to click Save. Some other widgets, like for example the Avada Twitter widget, have many configuration settings, and yet others are effectively empty and require all content to be added, such as the custom HTML widget, and require more user input, in this case HTML code. I'm going to add a couple of widgets to my custom widget area I created earlier. To start off, I'll add an image widget. I'll leave the title empty, and I'll click on Add Image, select an image here, and save the widget. Under this, I'll add the Avada Tabs widget. For this example, I'm going to choose the clean design and change the number of popular and recent posts to 2 and turn off comments. 
A final thing to note is the Avada widget options. This is available at the bottom of all widgets and can help with customizing padding, background color and content alignment. I just have to remember to save this widget now I've made changes to it. Custom widget areas can then be assigned to various widget ready areas that Avada allows throughout the site. This might be in a sidebar, assigned through various places in the theme options and page options, or in mega menu columns like this demo, or you can add them directly to the page using the Fusion Builder widget area element. And now, as of Avada 6.2, you can add your widgets directly into your content as well, using the new widget element. The widget area element allows you to add a widget area and all its included widgets directly into your content, while the new widget element allows you to add a single widget and edit it live directly on the page. For more details on these two elements, please see their corresponding videos. For this video, let's just look at using the widget area element to place a widget area directly into my page content. On the Avada University demo homepage, there is a section down the page here where there is a blog element, and I'm going to add my custom widget area next to that. The blog element is full width here, and I will need some room for my widget area, so I will change the blog column to three quarters, and add a one quarter column in here next to it. Now I will just add the widget area element, and as you can see, I can now choose any widget area from the drop down list, as well as a few other configurable options. I'm going to select the custom widget area I made earlier, and leave the other values at default. Now we can see my custom widget area displayed right next to my blog element content. OK, that's widgets and widget areas. They are an integral part of WordPress and very useful for small bits of content across the site. And now with the widget area element and the new widget element, there's an enormous amount of flexibility when it comes to where to place your widgets. OK, this concludes our video on how to use widgets and widget areas. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.